Hello and welcome to... Hello? Thanks, Doug. First up in the news is a paper describing a new genus and species of marine crocodile relative from the Jurassic. Named Turnosuchus hingliae, this animal is based on a beautiful specimen consisting of a partial skull and a fair amount of the body that comes from the Jurassic coast of Britain, specifically between the towns of Lyme Regis and Charmouth. It's a member of the marine adapted Thalatosuchians and is actually now the oldest known member of this group of crocodilomorphs known from diagnostic remains. In addition, it's been found to be positioned as the earliest diverging member of Thalatosuchia, being basal to both the Teleosauroids and the Metrorhynchoids, the major groups within the Thalatosuchians. So it's clearly a very important discovery, and funnily enough, we actually saw this specimen just a few days before it was named as a new species in the Lyme Regis Museum, which we'll be showing in a future Boneheads episode, so be sure to watch out for that. Also in the news this week is another of the oldest fossil examples of a very different group of animals, Chysilians. These animals are limbless, worm-like amphibians and are members of the modern amphibian grouping, officially called Lysamphibia. The origin of Lysamphibia as a group has actually been the subject of quite some debate in recent years, with there being some good support for the idea that they may have evolved from within a group of Temnospondyls, the diverse array of prehistoric tetrapods that could be considered primitive amphibians. Well, this new paper reports on a late Triassic aged Chysilian from Arizona that is now the oldest known fossil of these amazing animals, extending back the record about 35 million years from the previously oldest fossil in the Jurassic. Chysilian fossils in general are extremely rare, so this is an absolutely fantastic discovery, even if it is just based on parts of jaws. And it's also been given a pretty great name, Funcus vermis gilmori, the genus name translating to funky worm, after the 1972 song by the Ohio Players. The fossil also suggests that Chysilians originated in the equatorial areas of Pangaea, and not only that, but it also displays characteristics shared with both other Lysamphibians and a certain group of Temnospondyls, adding more evidence to the idea that modern amphibians all originated from this ancient group of tetrapods. So some really amazing discoveries this week then. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, but 